the most spiritual place I've ever been, Byron Bay, Australia. Byron Bay is not only the spiritual capital of America, it's a spiritual capital of the world because it's not even in America, it's in Australia. It's easily the most spiritual place on earth. Needless to say, I fit right in. And I'll tell you about my time in Byron Bay. When I'm there, I spend my days not washing my hair and sitting on sidewalks with my fellow brothers and sisters of consciousness, enjoying the freedom of being obligated to do nothing all day because we're free spirits. All the guys in Byron have aggressive beards and either dreads or a man bun. And all the ladies either have unshaven armpits, AKA they're a free spirit, or they talk about moon blood all the time, AKA they're a goddess, but preferably both. At this point, I don't even know what moon blood is, but I think it's safe to assume it's something delightfully transcendent. Everybody who's anybody in Byron does some type of energy healing. I put up flyers for my Reiki sessions did you know there's more Reiki practitioners in Byron Bay than there are actual people? I figure this can only mean one thing. The Reiki market is hot. I'm thinking I'm going to be making some serious bank this season. But as it turns out, nobody booked a single session with me. Surprising. While I was there, I met a friend named Terrence at the community market. We put together a guided meditation album. He plays the didgeridoo and I make whale sounds by playing an old guitar like a violin using a tuning fork. Meanwhile, Meadow puts silent blessings into the tracks. We don't even write songs. We just play what comes through us in the moment. It always comes out perfect. This one time we just finished laying down a track on the sidewalk and guess who almost steps on me? Xavier Rudd. I chase him down with tuning fork in hand. Once I caught up to him, he acts like he doesn't even know who he is. I really enjoy sitting on Johnson Street staring down tourists. I mean, they're invading the town and they don't even respect the sacred energies of the land. I wish they'd just go away forever. I made all my money off tourists. I wish there were more of them. I sold my energy jewelry off a folding table on the sidewalk. Rock necklace, all handmade. This rock is made out of pure rock, which came from the earth which is made out of our planet. And because the earth has sacred energies, it means this rock that came from the sacred earth has sacred energies, which means this is sacred energy jewelry. This one's only $75, practically giving it away. Whenever I'd sell a piece of jewelry, then I'd go to Raw Treaties. It's a completely raw, vegan, organic cafe. Meat-free, dairy-free, gluten-free, sugar-free, I'm in. I'd get a $12 juice and a $10 salad. Live in the vegan loca. Then I'd sit at the cafe for the next seven hours using the free Wi-Fi. And because I haven't showered for a fortnight, the other customers enjoy the sense of earthiness I bring to the cafe. At nighttime, I'd put on my jumper and go to a drum circle at the rec. Nothing's more cosmic than drumming under a full moon. I met a girl there named Shutter Slut, excellent hand drummer. She looks so familiar. I swear I knew her from somewhere. Probably just a past life. Needless to say, we go back to my hostel, the Arts Factory, to explore our past life together in this life. Then I found out what moon blood actually is. It's not a good thing. I mean, why didn't anybody tell me that's what it is? The next morning I go to Tallow Beach for a swim, but mostly just to wash my face really good. Then on Thursday I'd hit up the farmer's market. I love looking at vegetables that I'm not gonna buy. From there, a group of us pile into my friend Cam's VW bus. He only wears a cowboy hat and budgie smugglers when he drives it. Well, we're off to the hinterland. Destination, Minion Falls. There, we soak up negative ions like they're going out of style. Negative ions are positive in my book. They make me feel so expansive. What else makes me feel expansive is that we all dropped LSD on the way, AKA acid, AKA Ram Dass droppings, AKA Einstein. In my tapped in state, I discover that I can generate negative ions with my hands by going like this. Can you see it? I did this for like five hours straight. Absolutely fascinating to me. But most importantly, we gave blessings to the falls. Did you know water carries consciousness? I don't know what the falls would do without our blessings. Jesus. And let me tell you this, being out in the bush, there's a lot of dangerous animals to be aware of. I'm pretty wildlife savvy. I know about the drop bears. 
You see, back on my first day in Byron, a lovely soul named Devin sold me this drop bear crystal. They can't coexist with the frequency of this crystal. It was only $225, 100% effective. I've never been attacked by a single drop bear. Best money I've ever spent. So yeah, Byron Bay is so spiritual, they practically invented consciousness. And that's not the only C word they invented. And if you want to get your ultra spiritual groove on with me, I'm coming back to Byron Bay in April for the International Tribe Design Retreat. Check out the link in the video description to join me. And if you're watching this video in the future after April, the fact that you missed this event proves that you should have been living in the present instead of living in the future. You missed me. Eckhart Tolle would be ashamed of you.